They say you die. You don't talk through, you die. All die now die. Now welcome. Senator Ali Ndume. One of the senators, we don't decide from not. He don't decide to talk through. He said God go punish all of them that they will reap what they are so anybody will collect money as a senator, you know greed do something. <laughs> I go like make you listen to this man. This man finish work. He said, anyone will collect money, will not do waiting in senatorial district, in the senatorial uh, uh, place when they represent, will not do them. Say the person go rip them. If other people go quickly learn from this man, what I want to, I want to assess this man whether through him will be senator, whether in they do for him, please. Because the kind of thing when he talk is with me. He talked to all, oh, even the pres uh, 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 senate president, he talked to them. We better better this nation. We better do something to better Nigeria. Ah, this one's with me. I go like make watch him. I beg make una like, make una share, make una follow us, make una comment. Una thank you. We gonna give una we get update. Oh yeah, make una watch. <laughs> thank you. Whether you are a Christian or a Muslim, we are leaders in this country. We have a responsibility. God will ask us one after the other what did you do as a senator what did you do as a senator i'm not a pastor or a mother but i'm just reminding us what we know and maybe that will touch our conscience you can't start hiding under party or anything we are leaders that are entrusted by our people to come and speak on their behalf. Not only speaking on their behalf, to do anything constitutional. And we know that why government is there is security and welfare of its citizens. I said last time, Mr. President, and we closely took the resolutions, and it's another week now. We cannot continue like this. We have to tell ourselves the truth. We have to stop talking to cameras and then, it, you know, like more or less, people will start thinking that we are just grandstanding. We should sit down within ourselves and say it as it is and take appropriate actions. Mr. President, if you have any problem with that, allow the Senate to do it. We understand your position. You are in a difficult position. But let me tell you, Mr. President, God will ask you, Wallahi. <laughs> so, Mr. President, Mr. President, God will ask all of us, but you will be in the front. I will say, I've told the Senate President, maybe that will help me, but that's not a joke. Wallahi, it will, we need to, we need to. Enough is enough of this. Enough is enough of us coming here to stand and talk. Even the one I'm saying now, when, 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 when it will not matter. But it can. This is not the end. The Constitution is clear. It did not limit what we can do. The limit, we have not reached the limit. Let us consider it and see if we have to go further. And you must lead. Because that is what you swore to do, to protect the lives of Nigerians, is number one. In fact, is why we are here. The government, basic responsibility is security and welfare of its citizens. So, Mr. President, I want to conclude that yes, these motions are there. I do not speak on Katsina, not because I don't care about it, but everybody must have a chance to say something. And I believe that if you allow us, everybody has something to say, a little bit different from what we are talking about. Mr. President, you said we should think outside the box. We should not stop.